when I came to Southview 12 and a half years ago, there was not a culture of financial sustainability. The organization had almost a million dollars in debt that was several decades old. And a church is supported by the giving of the people who attend there. What we saw is that the giving patterns wildly varied week to week. We would have one week where it's high and then it would dip and then it would come back up and then it would dip. It, it varied so wildly, which is, that makes it very difficult when you're trying to plan, when you're trying to budget, when you're trying to, to project what's ahead. We began to talk about what this looks like and, and the first priority for us for long-term sustainability was getting rid of the debt. And so we put together, we sat down, put together a plan to pay off this long-term debt within seven years. For an organization like us at that time with a budget of $500,000, that was a bold, hairy goal. <laughs> but we did it. It took us just over six years and it was gone. The next step was to begin to build sustainability in what we see in our giving. Now, again, with volunteers, with people who are giving voluntarily as they want to, this is not required. People give as they want to. How do you do that? How do you encourage people to give regularly and sustainably so the organization can make plans and project? That's a hard thing. As we looked at this, what we found is that using and encouraging people to give digitally, that is through their bank's online bill pay or through our e-give platform, that enabled people to set up recurring giving. Now, what that means is that they decide how much that they want to contribute to the organization's mission and work and then they say, I'm going to give this much every week or every other week or every month. And they set it, and they don't have to make that decision every month or every week or every two weeks. It's set. It's recurring. We automate the things that are important in our lives. I automate my power bill because I want my lights to stay on. I automate my internet bill because I want to be able to you know, connect and get email. Why would I not automate the thing that is most important in my life? And that is activating my faith through the irrational generosity that we're called to exhibit. And that's what we've encouraged. Now, today, nearly seven in 10 of our donations come digitally. In the last six years, since we first started the Automate the Important initiative and encourage people to give digitally with recurring opportunities to give, we have found our overall giving has increased by nearly 